What's going on today, guys? And before you ask, I am not changing skates again. I, uh, I'm really enjoying the Icon AG20s. But they gave Broom a pro skate. And that's too freaking cool because I've seen this kid skate since he was like four foot tall. It, it's the craziest thing to me. Uh, and it's very well deserved. I couldn't resist ordering a pair just to try out his setup and support more than anything. I'm, I'm really not a razors guy, never have been, but at the same token, I've never tried the shift boot, so that's kind of exciting to me as well. Um, yeah, look, they put this kid's face on the box. What's weird is he's not smiling. The kid's always smiling. Like if, if you ever see him skate, he's always just landing the trick and smiling. He should have been smiling here, it's weird. Let's get in here. So, uh, Andrew likes his color, that's, that's for sure. Um, not the colors I'd have chosen, but cool looking boot either way. So it looks like they went with a purple rain liner, Andrew, Bo Andrew Broom LST right on the back of the tab there. Um, I've never skated these feather like four frames either. Um, they actually seem kind of cool. The boot's very light. Very, very light boot. Uh, and that is a very, very purple frame. Ground control turbine wheels. 60 millimeter, 90A. Okay. Um, I'm not excited to uh, skate flat, uh, but I'm, I'm not really scared of wheel bite with these frames. Uh, I, oh man, it's probably been more than 15 years since I actually put on some flat frames and tried to skate them, so that'll be something. But uh, yeah, I do like this V-cut cuff. I didn't know Razors was doing a V-cut now. We've got Andrew Broom right here, Lone Star Thrilla, Broom again on the boot, here and here. Anyways, I'm, uh, again, I'm not a Razors guy, but it's, it's too cool to me to see Broom get a boot. If you've ever watched the dude skate or been around the guy skating, the kid is just always smiling um, because he loves to skate. Just flat out, you can see it on his face. He loves every second of it. And he just deserves this. The kid's out here killing it. Um, so cool to me. Anyways, I'm, I'm just gonna put them on. Um, do a few grinds on them. I, I might talk about them a little bit afterwards because I've never skated a shift shell before. Um, but yeah, exciting stuff. Let's uh, play with them some. kind of mad that I like these because I've never liked razors before but I do um this is not at all what I expected to feel whenever I put on a razor skate uh, I guess I'm a little old school so I'm used to putting on a Colt and feeling an old rigid cuff like really stiff high riding cuff and uh, these cuffs are super flexy I was not expecting that. 
I immediately had to tighten down the skate more than I thought. Uh, very comfortable. Um, the rain liners are great. The shift boot, uh, it does kind of feel narrow like a Colt. Um, I guess, maybe I'm wrong. But it, it does kind of feel narrow like a Colt um, through like here. It's almost like the boot's a little short. And so it kind of squeezes the top of my foot a little bit, but not in a painful way. I just noticed it immediately. Um, wow. I was not expecting to like the Featherlight 4s. These are the Featherlight 4s, right? Yeah. Um, it's a flat frame. I don't skate flat. Usually terrified of skating flat. Um, but I actually think I can get used to this. Um, it was kind of weird. So do you know what the scariest thing about riding flat for somebody that hasn't ridden flat in 20 years? It's, it's not grinding. It's rolling flat. Um, I did notice a couple times I went to push off and, and slipped a little bit or in the landing slipped a little bit. I am very not used to having that center set of wheels. Um, but this frame with the way the groove is, it's really not scary at all to to jump into a, a groove trick in these, which surprised the heck out of me, because I was thinking, oh god, the wheel bite, oh no, but it was fine. Um, the whole boot itself is uh, pretty flexy now that I'm sitting here squeezing it. I'm like, man, I can move that a lot. And um, I think the one thing that I'm not a huge fan of um, on this boot is is this, like, hugely deep Royale groove. Let me get it. Boom. It's really deep and it's got really sharp corners. I kind of prefer a more shallow groove that I can kind of like wear in myself to be able to switch out of groove tricks into side plate tricks. This has kind of got like a, a bit of a jut. Uh, er, it, it likes to hold you into the Royale really hard. So when you go to switch into the side, there's like a slip feeling. And I'm not really a fan of that. I like a smooth transition between grinds. But, all in all, this is kind of a good skate. And again, I'm kind of mad that I like them because I just got used to the icons. Um, I guess I might bounce back and forth for a little bit and play around in these. These seem like a super, super fun skate at a park. Um, maybe that's why Maybe that's why all you guys skate flat. Because you go so fast and you don't even mean to. It's, it's weird. I, I'm... Sorry, I'm so old and out of touch with rollerblading, I guess. Uh, I am not used to accidentally going twice as fast as I want to go. Um, but it's a cool feeling, and I could see like at a skate park it being really flowy and nice feeling. Um, again, this is a good skate. I really liked it, um, and Broom deserves it. I think it's super cool that he got a skate. I mean, he, 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 it was coming. The dude loves rollerblading, and the dude is so good. It's crazy. Anyways, I'm glad I purchased them. Go get you a pair.